Hello, hello, and welcome back to Remember the Flowers. In between recording sessions, I got another cup of hot cocoa. This is a hot cup of hot cocoa. The other one I had was like lukewarm by the time I already hit the record button, but I like just got this. So it is, it is hot. My fingers are cold. But now they're, they're now they're warming up. Yeah. Okay. Aaron manages to sneak away for just a moment to see me. What a gentleman. Oh jeez, I wasn't expecting this many people to show up. I guess that's what you get for hosting an open invite party. It was an open invite? Is that safe? Well, open for uh, people we work with. Honestly, most of them don't even know Talon. They just came for the free drink. Nothing wrong with that. I stare at the crowd again. You sure okay? Yeah, I mean, kind of. This might be a bit too much for me. I should have figured. Sorry about that. Want me to take you home? Don't worry, I'll be fine. I think I might head out for a short walk, though. Okay, uh, be careful. Call me if you need anything, all right? I nod before getting on my feet, and then fighting my way through the crowd to get outside. No. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're already at chapter 11. Okay. That would have been an awful place to stop apart if, like, it was an update. I would have tacked it on at the end. Depending on, like, if I was recording this, like, the night before it was meant to be uploaded, which I'm not. I'm doing a great job of recording this before I've, like, what is this? Like, six parts in to, like, these updates for Remember the Flowers? And the, the first of these update videos hasn't even been uploaded yet i got time i'm making great time on these i'm no longer just re recording things like the hour before they're meant to be uploaded right ah watch that come crashing down this week though <laughs> or next week more like whatever the blast of cold air is quite welcome it's very nostalgic to me thankfully the streets are a lot more quiet i pull up my hood as i take a stroll I make it a point not to stray too far from the bar. Most of the shops around here look pretty normal to me. At this point, I can assure I can assume that Tensia is an outer city of, is an outlier of a city. I pursue the peruse peruse the many windows on my walk. It's been a while since I've gone window shopping. One store specifically catches my eye. In the window are several guns that I assume are assault rifles. Underneath them is a row of knives. Though they have similar shapes to what I know, the guns uh, look just a little more futuristic. What? Uh, what? You want to buy one? Silver? Silver. What are you doing here? I can uh, feel my artificial heart skip a bead as I'm once again taken by a surprise. Silver is standing beside me. He has his hood up as well. Ser seriously, can you, like, warn me when you're going to do that? I literally don't know how much my heart can take. From what I've heard, it can take quite a reading. Don't worry, Vita is capable of doing maintenance, well, maintenance work. Uh, should the need arise. That's not... Never mind. Wait. Why are you here? I was... It was getting a little too crowded in there for my liking. I don't do well with large crowds. Makes it hard to keep track of everything. Silver's left paw is resting on, an, on the knife holstered on his left leg. Plus, I noticed you. Don't want our hardest job to have been for nothing. He says with a smile, although it's not entirely convincing. Does that, does that get me to start to wonder? 
Were you there when your uh, crew broke me out? Nope. I was busy by the time they wanted to get you out, but I did set up the whole thing. Oh yeah? How? I made sure we had the right uh, credentials and materials to pull it off. Took me a long time to find the right people from Russum who would have, uh, who would have have, who wouldn't have been missing, missed. Mainly ones with little to no family or social standing. He gestures down to his knife. Ah, uh, you killed them and took their stuff? More or less. I see. I look at the knives in the window again. Were you looking to get more? Silver doesn't respond right away. When he does, he looks almost confused. They weren't lying when they said you were, uh, you, wait, said you were pretty uh, hardened. Most people usually get scared when I let them in on what I do. Kind of have to be. It's cliche to say, but I'm not, re I'm not really, I'm not really most people. Okay, kind of hate to admit it. Is that right? It's a long story. Plus, not sure how much I should talk about uh, while we're out here. Aren't you nervous? Not really. Thankfully, I'm I'm pretty good at uh, sensing whether or not someone is spying on me. We're safe up here, trust me. If you say so. If you're worried, how about I get you your own knife? I don't know. I have to. I haven't had the best track record with knives lately. It just takes practice. Soon you won't have a thi you won't feel a thing. He pauses. Wait, that came out wrong. I chuckle. You're fine, Talon. I wasn't uh, looking to buy a knife, uh, buy anything. Just kind of surprised to see a weapon store out here in public like this. Gotta keep in mind that for a lot of people, survival isn't always guaranteed. Stories like this, like this are pretty common, although it is a little out of place. If you can afford to live up here, you're probably safe. I look up toward the mountain where Arn's uh, condo resides. I hope it's safe enough. Silver follows my gaze. You've been up there. Axel took me the first night I got here. It's nice, huh? He let me crash there sometimes. It is. I was a bit nervous, but I felt pretty safe with him nearby. I can relate. Not sure if you've met him yet, but my brother lives up there. Brother? Yep. His name's Ash. Is he was was he the husky? He's a few years younger than me, and just turned twenty recently. Does he work with you all? No. Oh, okay then. And I'll make sure he never has to. All of the uh, levity in, the, in this bizarre conversation is immediately sucked out. I'm not sure how to react to such a tone shift. At the very least, I can try to comfort him. <laughs> You're a good old brother. I don't know what your story is, but at the very least, I can tell that much. And Silver smirks at that. You trust people too easily. You know that. So I've been told, but hey, even if you're all lying to me, it's not like it's not like I have much to lose. It's my turn to bring the mood down, but it's not wrong. And Silver takes a moment before sighing. You have it, uh, you know. It's been a while since I've met someone whose past is more fucked up than mine. Are you, um, se wait, segueing into telling me about it? Only if you want me to. Maybe not out here. It's kind of chilly. Then put on a real jacket. Have a one with sleeves. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, pour it up to Axel's place so you can see your so you can see your brother. Probably not. I think Ash is at work today. Retail. My condolences. He likes it well enough. It's more of a hard, he's more of a hard worker than most people I know. Let me think. As far as I'm aware, I'm free from any obligations for at least a month. We've got plenty of time to chat. Sounds like we're both, we'll both need it. From what little I know of you, I'd say so. 
Silver's ear twitches from under his hood. He turns to look around. Let's head back to the bar. I don't think anyone's nearby, but I bet Axel will be worried if we're out for too long. You have an axiom, right? I do, but are you sure you want to add me? We just met. I pull down my sleeve to reveal my own axiom. Silver doesn't seem too phased by it. I don't see why not. Another talent of mine is figuring out who I can trust, and can't, fairly easily. Silver takes out the, uh, the axiom on his right wrist. Plus, no offense, I could slice you without any effort. For just a moment, his eyes flash that hint of aggression I saw earlier. He's warning me to stay in line, now that I'm here. <laughs> do what you gotta do. I'm pretty good at being uh, picked apart, so you, as you can imagine. Silver's face relaxes once more. I'd rather not, thanks. With a smirk, Silver slides over his contact information. I guess now I don't have to worry about exposing Kanto for uh, letting his real name slip. If it's uh, if it comes up, I'll just say he let me know on his own. Got it. Shall we head back? Let's. Okay. He seems nice. Ooh, okay. The cocoa's now at a nice, like... Like, it's warm, but it's not biting, you know? Ah. It's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Silver and I end up sitting at the VIP section of the bar for the rest of the party. Every now and then, Kanto comes around to talk shit with Silver. The two of them are cute together. Oh yeah? You cook, right? Every now and then. Why? On our drive back, we stayed the night in an abandoned warehouse. Ring was very, real protective over some dumplings you made, to the point that he basically, uh, he was basically hoarding them. That causes Silver's ears to lay a little flatter. I told him they weren't that big of a deal. To his credit, they were pretty good. He let me have one. You'll have to thank Vita for that. There's, uh, they're the one, yeah, they're the one who taught me the recipe. Is that right? Yep. Besides Axel, I'd like to think I'm the best cook in our immediate crew. There's a hint of pride in his voice. Kind of have to be. It was just me and my brother for a while. I wanted to make sure he at least had something nice to eat. Another orphan, huh? I see. Looks like y'all uh, are going, uh, doing well for yourselves now. Every day is a battle. I'm trying, though. I could try to teach you some recipes from before the fall. I'm sure there's some that never made it through the years, although my memories of them is pretty not... is probably not the most reliable. I'd be... I'd, it'd be an interesting way of trying uh, new things, at least. We chat about this and that for a while. Eventually, Arn comes back. You have a real talent, you know that, Cyrus. I've never seen talent so talkative before, especially with a stranger. Give me a break. <clears throat> a break. Oh, excuse me. I've had a, a few... I had a long few months. It's not that weird. If you say so. Aaron says that with an innocent smile on his face. By the way, where are you going to stay while you're home? Ash was looking to see you. I might spend the night with Ring and catch up. After that, I'll come up and visit Ash. You sure you sure do move around, don't you? Kind of have to. I try to be prepared for anything. Fair enough. Cyrus! If you wanted, you could spend the night with me tomorrow. Of course, of course. It is probably boring staying by yourself for so long. 
Oh, sure, I'd like that. As long as it doesn't get you in trouble or anything. Nonsense! At this point, you can go wherever you want without... adequate supervision, that is. Oh, with adequate supervision, okay. Speaking of, are we going to be his bodyguards or something? More or less. The boss wants to make sure he's safe, while also letting him have his own autonomy. I hope it doesn't inconvenience y'all. Nonsense, Cyrus. It's our pleasure. It'll be a lot easier than stalking someone for months on end, that's for sure. I'll put a note in with the boss. Let her know I'm fine with staying around longer this time. Arn smiles, but raises a brow at the fox. When the, fo uh, when the fox notices, he lays his ears back again. You know it's personal for me, Axel. That I do. You're very nice, Talon. The fox grumbles, embarrassed. I look for- I look forward- Wait, I look toward both of them. Yes, yes. Uh, wanting them to elaborate. With Ar When Arn catches on, he responds sheepishly. Uh, don't look at me. That's up to Talon. We've already decided to pick each other's brains later. Just not here. <laughs> loud- Are heard loud and clear. I can see Silver's tail flick. He takes the axiom on his left wrist out. I think it's about time I head out. I got some shopping to do later. Aw, oh, damn. Didn't realize it was already th past three o'clock. I said the party would last until two. Want me to clear the room? Silver raises his brows, which makes Aaron sigh. Do you know how long it'd take to clear the place up, to clean the place up? Some other time, Talon. Good. I'm supposed to be on vacation after all. Uh, after laughing at their um, at their morbid joke, uh, Arn takes out his axiom and starts to type away. I think Rose can handle it. Oh God. I try looking for Karen in the crowd. Eventually, I see her near the dancers. She turns on her axiom to read the message. Soon, um, soon afterwards, she runs up to one of the side doors. She looks real excited. You might want to cover your ears, Cyrus. Cyrus. Both Aaron and Silver try clamping their ears down. Despite being confused, I do the same. Tahina enters the balcony where the DJ is playing. There's a loud feedback sound as she aggressively takes out the mic. Listen up, assholes. It's time to get the fuck out. Go on, scram. Tahina yells into the mic loud enough that I can still hear her clearly. Not as loud as the roaring criticism coming from the crowd, however. I see a few um, readying their glasses, as if they're about to throw them. This gets Aaron to pull out his microphone from behind the bar. His expression is stern, ready to scold some miscreants. I'd suggest you put everything you've bought uh, down at the bar quietly. That is, unless you want it to be personally acquainted with the ground. The crowd turns to look at Aaron. Unlike Karen, there's barely any pushback. One by one, they all start putting their glasses on the bar neatly. Thank you. He finishes uh, in a gruff tone before turning the mic off. The tiger turns to smile at us. See, that wasn't so bad. She still has a way with words, I see. Glad you can still control a crowd at least. Just have to show people who's the boss every once in a while, literally. I'm certain, I'll certainly make sure not to get on your bad side. Aw, oh, come on, Sir Cyrus. I uh, hope that uh, didn't scare you too much. Even though his words sound condescending, the look on his face makes me think he's genuinely worried about spooking me. Of course not. You're still the gentle giant I've known, after all. Cyrus. He rubs the back of his head, smiling bashfully. Silver interrupts while uh, wearing his own smile. 
<laughs> Ring was right. You both are really corny. Like you're one to talk. Okay. This seems like a good place to end this part. So I will see you around, everyone.